What is up guys, this is DJ Rick Webb. I'm pale as shit. As you can see, I had not got much sun, but we're doing an outdoor wedding today, so maybe that'll change. We're gonna be traveling to Round Peak, North Carolina, which is about an hour and some change away from where I am here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're gonna be doing a wedding out at a vineyard on top of like a hill slash mountain. It's gonna be really cool. The pictures and stuff of the venue uh, looks very neat. We're doing the basic of the basic setup, just two tops, two lights, my mixer, console, and that's it. Reception only, no ceremony. Uh, one of the main things that we're gonna be trying out to use today, we used it at the prom in the last gig log, and Kalen used them out at his wedding, but these are the new Audio-Technica 3000 series that I just got in. I got four of these units. I got a lapel and a handheld for each unit. It was very pricey. But as far as I'm concerned, these mics right here, the Audio-Technica 3000 series and the Sennheiser 3 or 4th uh, Gens, uh, these are the 4th Gen Audio Technicas as well. These are like the best uh, money value, high quality mics on the market. They're just as good as the $1,000 Shure's that are out there and they only cost I think $500 for a handheld unit. Not as expensive as Shure and just as high quality. These things are really dope. OLED screens, you'll see all that when we get up and set it up and all that fun stuff. But uh, these, the four units that I have here are part of the wireless batter powered uh, mic rack units for ceremonies that I'm building. So you guys know I've mentioned I'm building a completely battery powered ceremony rig. I already have all the components to do it. Kaylin actually had the option of using it last week if he ran into a pinch and didn't have power. He ended up having power. But I got all the components to do it. I just need to buy the rack. I just, just gotta buy the rack. So I'm being a little lazy, haven't bought the rack yet to put this all together. So, coming soon. And after a load up for a very simple event, as you can see, everything is pretty much still here in the garage. So let's fast forward and let's get on the road to Round Peak. Wait, before we get on the road, we gotta talk about one very, very, very important thing. I haven't mentioned this in the gig logs, and that is the paperwork that I bring to all of my weddings, the stuff that basically allows me to do a wedding. What I do is I use Vibo, as you guys know, if you've seen in previous videos, we use Vibo for all of our wedding planning here at Fusion Sound Lighting. I'm very up about using high techness and trying to be very upfront with it, but you gotta also have paper copies. So let's look at what we got. So first off, I have the PDF here that Vibo prints out. This is based on the app. You print out this PDF right here, so it's got all the information, the date, the arrival time, where it's at, the wedding, um, and then this is basically the timeline of where we're gonna go. There's my introduction list, and this is all can be customized. This is just a notes segment right here that you can put in whatever notes you want. These are the songs that we're gonna be playing. As you can see, it lists like the amount here. Yeah, so our last dance is gonna be about 10 o'clock, but then when you get down here, this is the list of songs. So this is all the cocktail hour that they said up here. There was 51 songs. Right there's the 51 songs for cocktail. There's my grand entrance notes again. There is our songs for our grand entrance right there. Uh, then this is our open dancing music right here. It's all listed out right here, nice and clean, good to go. Uh, last dance moves just a random thing that the groom put in there, but yeah, that's it I also print it out in copies as you guys can see my like green or blue or one of the colors is out It's been printing in pink uh, which really isn't a bad idea. I, I enjoy it right here are some copies This is a full copy for me, and then this is just kind of like a on Timeline only copy that I'll give out to like the photographer the venue and whoever else needs a copy also I go on and I print out I don't uh, put it on the iPad because it's not really necessary, but this is the whole planning form that they originally filled out. It's got all the names here at the top, which is kind of important for me if I need to reference someone's name that's uh, not on there, their themes, their colors, just the general information that they fill out on the planning form in case I need to look at it, it's there as a reference. So that's a little bit of the planning forms and stuff I bring. Like I said, I pretty much have this on the iPad. Uh, I use Google Drive to transfer them over and then I just make sure it's available offline. So if I don't have internet, I always have it. Uh, I can just pull it up right here. I can also go on my phone. I can open up the Vibo app. I can click on their wedding and I can go to music. And right here is also their timeline. So I always have it on my phone as well. And uh, they also have it there as well. So if I need to get my grand entrance notes, I can click right here. And right there is my grand entrance notes. If somehow this doesn't work and all my printing copies, Backup on backup on backup. Another thing to talk about on backup is having all of your wedding specialty songs on multiple devices. That is the worst thing that you could possibly 
not have, a file goes corrupt, you don't know what could possibly happen, your computer could crash, etc. So, in terms of what I do, I have obviously on my main DJ laptop, I have all of the uh, first dance, the mother, son, the father, daughter dance, all the specialty songs, the grand entrance songs. They're on my main laptop, obviously, because that's where I'm going to be playing it. They're also on my backup laptop, which runs uh, the Show Express software. And then they are also on my phone via Google Drive. Google Drive is like the way I share all my files within uh, our company. Maybe something you guys can look into, maybe I can make a video on it, but basically we have a, for a folder for every single wedding. But anyways, that's a look at some of the little back end sort of stuff that we have to tie up before we leave for the wedding to make sure we have everything aligned before we actually head out. So um, with that said, let's uh, get on the road. <laughs> You guys didn't think I was going to stop at Chick-fil-A for lunch? Yeah. Alright, we have arrived. Whenever you arrive at a new venue, you've never been to before, well actually any venue, go figure out who's in charge, go introduce yourself, and figure out how you're going to get your equipment from point A to point B, aka where you're setting up. The views are absolutely amazing. Follow the gravel road, you can pull all the way up to the crush pad. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Great. Nice and easy. Know where we're going now. I also didn't mention, but like I'm three hours early. Look at that view, though. All right. So, like I said, very very small setup. Just got the event table, the lights, the stands, the cables, and the ZK case and the two SRX tops. I posted this on Instagram. Like venues are all getting to the point where you need some sort of almost four wheel drive vehicle to get up to them. That view is sure worth it. Wow, that's amazing. Because this setup is so small, I'm not gonna really do the whole like setup, tell you what I'm doing, setup, tell you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do a time lapse, but um, basically I'm gonna run one top over there and one top over here. Um, I always like to separate them out when they have it situated where like you're in a corner. I, I like to put my tops so they're still even. Alright, so we are all set up. As I told you earlier, I um, showed up really early. Two hours still until we start, so I want to show you guys the new Audio-Technica microphones. So right here are the units. I got them sideways um, because of lack of space. Obviously, we're going to put those in a rack mount and somehow work it into this whole entire thing. Eventually, I'll probably put two in my case and get rid of the GTDs that are in there. These right here are the actual handhelds themselves. And right here is one of the uh, lavaliers that comes with it. But these are the main ones I want to talk to you guys about. We got OLED displays on them, which is really, really cool. These are solid metal mics, as you would expect. There are charging terminals on the bottom, so if you want to run lithium uh, rechargeable batteries, you can do that. And they sell a kit where you can dock these and always keep them charged. So, you got all kinds of options here. You can actually name the mics. As you can see, this is FSL1, FSL2, and that will actually show up on the microphone itself as well. Audio, you can set your gain as much as you want. These are very, very hot mics, to say the least. So, I normally keep them about negative 14. They do have the scan feature, so you can scan uh, as many channels as you could possibly want. You got group scan, you can scan all the different channels. These run all the way from like 470 uh, megahertz all the way up into the 520. Uh, you have your sync to sync over your microphone, squelch, utilities, frequency, name, we're back to the beginning. So when you go to sync your mic, you just click here. You can set the frequency, so I want it to be that one. I want it to be named. I can set my gain on the mic. I can lock the mic out. I can set up the power restrictions, the battery, high pass filter. I can put a high pass filter on the mic right from the unit. I don't have to do it externally. Pretty cool. So all you do is click start sync and right here is the IR sensor. On the mic itself is really hard to do but you got to unscrew this right here. By that I meant it's really hard to do one handed. Right here is where you put your two AA batteries in. Like I said you can do uh, wireless as well. Here's the menu control so your on and off switch is right here. So it's power off, power on. It'll turn power on. That's one disadvantage. The power switch is underneath the cover that you have to keep unscrewing to get to. This is your IR sensor right up here to match up with the IR sensor on the receiver. You have your menu here so I can go up down. I can see what channel I'm on. I can see the name. So if I want the name to show the frequency, you can go in and you can actually set up the frequency manual if you want. Um, but why would you do that when you can just sync them over? So all you do is click the sync button here, click the sync button on here, pair them up, and then they connect very simple. So one last thing to talk about on the Audio Technica mics right here is how you mute the mic because it's really hard to get to the on off switch so how do you mute it? 
there's actually a little switch right here beside that green light. The green light tells you that the mic is on. You hold that little green switch and it pops up and says mute on the screen and the light turns red. You hold it down for another three seconds and it will say unmute and you're live. So one other cool thing about that switch, holding it down is how you mute and unmute the mic, but you can also set that switch to be a backup frequency. So what you would do, say you walk out into the main room and you start to get interference or you start to get dropout, you would tap that switch and it will automatically switch to a backup frequency that you have pre-chosen and then you are back live running again. So that's a very nice backup feature for these wireless mics as well. So yeah, that's just a quick look at the new Audio-Technica mics that we just got in for all of our DJs, which is pretty exciting. So now I'm gonna pack up a little bit of this stuff and then uh, we'll go through all the equipment, change, and then wait an hour until the reception starts. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and go on a quick walkthrough of all the equipment we're using here at this reception. Per usual, we're using two JBL SRX 815 tops, two Chave Wash FX2s on top, Donor wireless DMX sitting atop of our on stage, or not our on stage, our Rockville spring assist speaker stands with on stage black scrims. ADJ event table Mark II that splits in half with our custom FSL logo sign. Audio in interface is the Pioneer DDJ SZ in our Pro X all blacked out coffin with our DBX drive rack PA2 below. Mics were running the two. Brand new Audio Technica 3000 4th Gen wireless mics. All the uh, music is being played off of the HP Spectre X15T using Serato Pro. And for lighting control, we're using Shabby Show Express on the 13 inch laptop. Shabby Show Express Plus, our donor wireless DMX is right there. Vmoto LP2s, ADJ Mega Hexpar doing our up or our lighting on the facade, my clothes. But yeah, very, 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 very simple setup for this wedding. This view is absolutely amazing. We're gonna get this wedding started here in about an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it is time to get this party started in a way. I want to welcome, or bring up, more or less, Mark Machuda here, father of the bride, to give us a nice little welcome speech and get this uh, event underway. Hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, no, 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 really, really. No, no, louder, louder. I mean, no, just joking. Hey, I want to say, um, you know, on behalf of the Machuda side, the Machuda family. It'll be really quick. Um, just to say thank you so much. I know um, it's not easy to travel across the, you know, map to get here, and you all just um, went through a lot of trouble, and it, it means the world to us. So thanks. Sarah, your turn. Once again, congratulations, you two. I love you, bro, always. Hold on, hold on. And Katie, you are a more now. All right, all right, all right. Give it up for Brian. Give it up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this view behind me is absolutely amazing. It's the golden hour right now. But uh, right now, we are in the middle of dinner. I forgot to press record on the camera again for introductions, but again, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty awesome. The father of the bride was going around giving high fives to everything. He's Pretty intoxicated right now to say the least. Yeah, we're doing dinner right now. We've already done toast, as you guys saw. We've done our welcome, we've done our blessing. We're in the middle of dinner. And um, next up will be first dance. Parent dances will be together. together. And then uh, we're gonna do open dancing until 10 o'clock at night. So it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. Big drinking crowd equals fun party time, hopefully. A lot of bugs out too. Anyways, check back in when we uh, start dancing. The moment, of course, is Catherine and Bobby's first dance together as husband and wife. Can I make some noise for our newlyweds? Someone please make some noise for Katie and Bobby out there. The celebration of the year starts right here, right now.
see you uh.
friends. I am unfortunately to bring it up, but this is time for the last dance of the night right here. Uh, I can't do much about it. Everyone can please make a nice big circle around Bobby and Catherine. This is Donna Summer's last dance. Let's end this on a high note, guys. Join on in. Somebody make some noise for Catherine and Bobby. Make some noise. They just got married. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Everyone be safe getting home tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the wedding in the books. I'm starting tear down right behind me right now. Excellent, awesome. Congratulations, Catherine and Bobby, on your wedding. It was a blast. We had a great time. It was awesome. Also, there's like tons of lightning going off behind me over here, and these lights are completely flickering. It's really annoying. But anyways, I'll check back in with you guys when this is all tore down. And uh, everything's tore down. We're all, we're all done. Again, amazing, awesome wedding. All that fun stuff. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. And uh, I will see you guys next time with amazing, awesome gig log, product view, all that fun stuff. My name is DJ Rick Keep the market spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. I got an hour drive home. Damn.